What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Benja. So bad, so badly. I am at 138 calories lost, and I wish I can say that. I wish I can say that it was like a productive workout because you guys saw I stopped a lot. Oh my god, I can't ever go this long without working out. Like the muscle memory is going away. Oh my god, and that was so freaking good. I gotta build it back up, guys. I am genuinely exhausted. I have a work call in three minutes, so I'm actually not even gonna change. I have my phone somewhere here. Probably like stick it in a charge and then get to talking. But I am sore. That was supposed to be like a stretch with Mad Fit, but my God, I'm so tired. Like I am eight days, just, my God, it got my whole body out of whack, my God. I don't know, man, I don't know, but I'm glad I did close my exercise ring. I'm still at 10 stands. I have done 64 workout minutes, and then I'm at 601 calories burnt out of night. currently in my bedroom and I thought that for my bedroom with regards to what I wanted to do especially with this main wall um, that you see right when you walk in I figured that I would add baskets to it I love baskets <laughs> I may have a basket problem you've just seen in um, my closet that I literally added two baskets to my wall gallery and I feel like I want to do that here so the plan is to have a really big uh, basket at the top there and then just kind of have varying size baskets and um, woven hats and I'll show you what I mean in a second on the wall and I like that it would give more of like that neutral tone to the room as well as create more texture in the space. I wanted to start off by thanking my really good friend that I met when I was in Namibia. I'll leave a link to her um, Instagram and business below, but she gave me, and I have literally kept this in my luggage since, she has gifted me two of these woven, place matty, uh, almost like very shallow baskets. Um, and she gifted these to me last year. And so they're from Namibia and I love that. Everything I'm putting on my wall is like African or Asian and I love that. I love that there's a story to tell with each piece. And that's the same thing here. So I met up with her, literally hit her up on Instagram and I was like, I really love your content. I am in your country, in your city, can we meet? And I generally do that when I go to a place and I do want to see like what their influencer space is like. And she was so sweet. She came, we had, uh, I think we had drinks and I uh, took a couple of photos and it was just like we clicked and I love meeting people where it's easy and you don't feel like you have to kind of work for the conversation and that's exactly what it was and uh, this was our first time meeting in person every other communication we had was kind of back and forth over the phone and she just came with these and so I'm gonna have these up on my wall secondly I do want to hang these up these are my hats yes I do wear hats, but only on the beach, <laughs> not in these streets. And then this is the other one. So I have this one with the blue, red and white ribbon detail. It has 
oh you can't see that <laughs> that's what it looks like <laughs> and then i have this other one i believe i got both of these from primark yeah that's primark and that's primark and they were less than five bucks or five bucks or less yeah and i've kept them this entire time so i will hang them on the wall i want to hang them up this way just so that they continue with the vibe of having these guys up so that's the aesthetic that i'm going for is having these up on the wall but i just i'm so stumped now i have no clue how i'm gonna put these babies up but for the moment i'm gonna put these two up and i think wherever it is i land them there's really no like rhyme or reason in terms of how i'm going to place things i just do want my biggest one further up and then that's still something i'm gonna purchase i do not have that yet so this is work in progress so i'm gonna definitely put at least like one hat there maybe one hat here and one hat there and then one hat here and then i'll kind of use the baskets to fill in the blanks as i go i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this maybe i ask my mom Mama! <laughs> say that i'm a genius but <laughs> she kind of up there so i think i've been to enough museums where i realized like the way that you set up different artifacts can depend on um what the artifact is so if there's no hook like i was looking for with my basket usually you can see them kind of leaned upon the wall and that's what i did guys. i went ahead and i put in two nail holes and now they're just holding up my basket same with that one up there, as you can see from below, holding up my baskets. And if I pull out, that's what she said. Um, you can see, kind of get the idea of where I'm going. So I need a couple more baskets, one there, one there. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in the blanks as I go, but this is the idea of what I'm trying to do. Okay, so let me explain. So, if you guys remember a couple of days ago, I showed you um, a, an idea of what I wanted to do on my bedroom wall. So we're in my bedroom right now, and I wanted to show you guys what I wanted to do to the space because it was just pretty much a canvas of white walls and nothing else, and so I figured I am in love with baskets, I love them, slightly obsessed. And I wanted to use one of my walls to just display some of my favorite baskets. Now, when push came to shove, I just realized I only had two baskets and two hats that I could actually use. And so I was driving today after picking up my siblings, which is why I look hella casual. And on the road, I see an old guy and he was selling baskets. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jesus manifest. And no joke, I pulled to the side of the road like, Ey! and I'm like, hung me, I'm like, Papa, s'il vous plaît, baby. Hey, hey, oh God, please come my side. <laughs> Let me tell you people, I started by giving, I was there for 10 minutes. So, if you guys know these baskets, like if you look on like Etsy or any other website really that sells any kind of like African woven wall baskets or wall hanging baskets, whatever you Google, these things are not cheap. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm on the continent, people of goods. I need it to be accessible. You know what I'm saying? It should be cheaper than what I'm seeing on Etsy. But like I'm at the source. So <laughs> they were. And so I started talking to the man and he was like, oh no, I can only give you three of them for 15. And I was like, oh, papa. I call everybody older than me who's, I'm trying to get some now, papa. Anyway, I'm like, oh, papa, mais je peux pas, s'il vous plaît, j'aime trop ces paniers. 
and I'm literally pleading my case. And I'm like throwing all the French I got in my lexicon. I'm just like, s'il vous plaît, papa, aide moi. He's like, fine. I'm gonna give you four of them for 15 bucks. I'm like, oh, papa. I just want more. I just want one more. Now, how will I do? Can I just get a gift? I've stopped this whole time. We've been talking. Please help me. Literally, I'm buying from him and I'm asking for a gift as I'm buying from him. I said, my friend, next time you want to go to the market, take me with you. I will haggle for you. I actually have um, my friend Mo who literally will like bring me with him when we go to a market and he's like, okay, Binja, I really like this. Can you can you get me can you get it for me for cheaper and i'm like say less mo say less and it's like not my only friend like literally i was in the in dar salaam in october and my friend khadija was also like how did you get to my game like what what you literally just robbed the store and i'm just like listening haggling is a love language i mean do y'all agree it's like personally I ain't never paying full price outside of a supermarket, okay? Outside of a mall, she does not pay full price. So clearly, these were not paid for at market value and the man ended up gifting me a basket. So I think we made out like a bandit today. Let me show you each basket in detail. So I got two small ones and they have their own unique design. And I liked the purple because it just brought in a little pop of color so I could hang it this way or I could hang it this way. And then I got the second one, kind of the same deal. And then I got this huge one. Let me bring it closer for you guys so you can see the details on here. Just look at that, it's huge. And then again, if you turn it around, you can see the details on the back, so you could do it either way. And I love that these all come with like the hanging. Oh, it's gonna make it so much simpler to work with. And then I got gifted this one, which is a plain brown one. So you can see some of the woven detail there. And then this is the back, so I could have it this way or I could have it that way. And then this one's a little bit of a variation to the other one as it has some lines so I could have it um, horizontally or vertically. Let me bring it closer so you guys can take a look at the woven design. And so this would be the back. So I could play around with these, which is what I absolutely love that I have variation. Ooh. And then the last one is this guy. I could have it vertic I mean, vertically, horizontally. It has the hanging thing. I like the back. I like the back of this. This might be like a good variation. <laughs> Overall, I did well. The days you need to pat yourself on the back, pat yourself on the back. Today was a great day for moi. Show sure what? That, mes amours, is how you create a basket gallery wall. Oh my god. I am really excited about how quick this project worked out and how much change it's brought to the space. And I'm gonna show you 
what this entire room now looks like in three, in two, 